there's a lot going Are on you, here. You're pretty sure there's not a lot going on up here. That's, not as that's much as this. Not as much as this. Oh, that's I see. It. Okay. Hi everyone, Rachel Weber here. I'm your host on today's red carpet here at the 2017 Twin Cities Film Fest. This red carpet is sponsored by Fleur de Junk, and we also want to say thank you to the shops at West End for helping us out every single year. Let's get down to it. I have, well you guys wear a lot of hats actually. Yeah. See, you see, you see what she did there. I, I, I make it obvious. It. I'm still waking up a little bit. All right, so you guys wear a lot of hats for this film. Why don't you, for, let's start there. Introduce yourself and let me know the roles you played for the, telling the story. Uh, my name is uh, John Russell Kring, and I am the uh, co-writer and uh, co-producer and co-director of the movie Darcy. Nice, and this is the world premiere, you guys, right? Yes. Yes, that's amazing. Oh, Thank yes. you for being here with us. And what are the hats you wear for this film? Um, my name is Heidi Phillipson, and I am the producer and co-director and actress in Darcy. Yes, I love that. So we, it's kind of rare sometimes to hear about someone being in front of the camera and behind it. That's awesome. Um, feature length film. Yes. Independent film. Yes. My first question when I saw the breakdown of who I was going to talk to today was, what's with the co-directing? I don't see that a lot. How did you guys decide to be co-directors? Well, um, I think first of all, and this is a film that has to deal with both sides of um, a story around a young girl, and uh, we wanted a lot of different perspective, meaning both the male perspective and the female perspective. And you know, aside from that, quite frankly, when you have two directors who are really passionate the way we are, it just seemed like a perfect match. Um, so I think that uh, we hit it and we pulled it off. Uh, we had, you know, uh, been admiring each other's work, you know, uh, up in upstate New York, and this was an opportunity to collaborate. And we have different styles, and they kind of blend, uh, really blended together, really, really well. And I, I would just like to see a lot more of that. I would like to see a lot of male directors uh, look for the female perspective. And, you know, that's a great way to double up the work right there. You know, guys out there, give up a little bit of uh, power there, and get, let's get the ladies, you know, behind the camera. John, let's not forget that we had two different, we had co-writers. Right. Yeah. So we had a male and female co-writer. Awesome. And, uh, I mean, how many times have you seen a woman doing a role that was directed by a man and you wondered and you thought... Oh, All the time! <laughs> <laughs> so, I think in this particular case, we could both say that we hit both genders pretty yes. well. That is awesome. So, speaking of being a co-writer then, yes. what, why did you want to tell this story? Well, my wife and I, uh, we worked together. Uh, she was the, uh, unfortunately, Tracy couldn't be here tonight, but she, everybody loves Tracy. She is the uh, cinematographer and uh, editor for the film and a co-writer. And uh, this particular story came from a, a, a place of a, you know, personal experience on both of our parts, but also we, you know, we went, you know, uh, a, a little bit further. I think it's a movie about empathy. And I think uh, these days, empathy is a political act. When you you know say that you know people don't need to be boxed up and we need to learn to care about where everybody is you know in their situation, so that's why it was an important story to me. Well, I just have to say, as a producer, I think what really spoke to me is this was a film about a young girl and her coming of age uh, in a way that um, a lot of us women understand and know, but not necessarily what we see in the films out there. Um, this is not a film that's afraid of hitting. Uh, controversy and I think one thing that's very very current in today's times where we have a lot of scandal around harassment and pedophilia it sort of attacks it head-on and it makes you think as the audience goer it almost puts yourself in the position of the lead and you find yourself kind of struggling on both sides with her as the audience member that's the amazing thing about their writing you know um, not many writers can do that, and I think they pulled it off. It was something that pulled in all of the actors when they read it. They wanted to be a part of it. That's awesome. So, what are the plans for the movie after this, guys? We're probably going to have some dinner, <laughs> um, maybe some drinks, <laughs> then some more drinks, drinks. and after that, talk to the producer because I don't know. <laughs> Actually, we are being wrapped in sales by Program Filmworks. And we're heading off to the American film market. So hopefully we'll get some buyers out there, snap it up. And they can follow you where? On uh, Darcy Movie. So at Darcy Movie or hashtag Darcy Movie. You're going to find us Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and believe it or not, coming out is Snapchat. 
that's right. Can someone explain to me how to do Instagram? <laughs> I can't figure it out. Gus, can you help me with that? She doesn't know either. All right. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Love talking to you about this. Guys, we're going to be back with more of the storytellers from Darcy. It's going to premiere here in just a little bit. Come right on back. <laughs> it's not my hat off. <laughs>